Well, good morning. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Sunny, 80 degrees. Great day to work on your uh, grill today. Mine will be finished today. Uh huh. Checking some headlines quickly. Uh, nearly 100 workers rescued from a burning oil rig have reached the coast of Louisiana aboard a supply boat. No word yet on any more survivors from Tuesday night's explosion and fire. 11 workers are still missing, and the Coast Guard has searched through the night. 17 people were injured, four of them critically. President Barack Obama says he'll select a nominee to replace outgoing Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens in a couple of weeks. Obama told CNBC that he won't use an abortion rights litmus test in selecting a replacement. Because they're all his dogs. <laughs> Is that what he said? That's, That's right. what he said. Those guys, they all my dogs. Yeah. 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 Congress is a step closer to providing assistance to family members of severely wounded Iraq and Afghanistan veterans who leave jobs and health insurance to provide care for an injured loved one. The House has unanimously approved $1.7 billion in caregiver benefits. The South Carolina House has agreed to a 50-cent increase in cigarette taxes for the second time in two years. South Carolina's cigarette tax is currently seven cents per pack. It's headed for the uh, governor's desk. He says he's going to veto yeah, that. Did, that's right. He did say so that. Unless they cut taxes by somewhere the same else. amount somewhere else, yeah. he'll veto it. Um, so he's not going to have anything to do with the tax increase. And uh, what's his name? The uh, Secretary of Education, uh, Rex. Jim Rex. says he would like for them to uh, give the education department some of that money. He knows it's designed for Medicare, but he said right now we need to take care of education, and yeah. then once that's done, then we will go ahead and let you give it back to Medicare. So they're, they're, you, it's just complete confusion. Wow. Everybody's scrapping for a buck right now up there. There's been a sharp drop in motorcyclist deaths. The study finds that there was a 16% drop in motorcycle deaths in the first nine months of last year, the study's author says it's likely that the sour economy resulted in less recreational driving. And I don't know if you heard about it yesterday or not, but uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger uh, has been given a six-game suspension in the new season mm -hmm. without pay. It'll cost him about $2 million. Jay Leno said it's lucky he didn't kill somebody. He'd had a 10-game suspension. Exactly. He violated the NFL's uh, personal conduct policy. Who knew they even had one? Well, actually, they are very protective of that. They, uh, I mean, they've they've been busting people up pretty bad, suspending them for a year and pay and all that kind of stuff, uh, because they said uh, you know the NFL franchise is an eight billion dollar a year business, hmm. and uh, they simply have decided that they're not going to tolerate anything like this because Roethlisberger has been implicated, but not charged. They say in uh, two rape cases in the past year, and I was reading the other day. Never in the history of professional sports of any kind in the United States has one player been named twice in eight months for the same thing. Really? Yeah. Never. I mean, in the history of ever, all wow. all sports, this is the first time. So they, it's one of those smoke there's fire things, mm. and they're they're going to make him go to counseling. And they say they may reduce his penalty to four games if he's a good boy and he doesn't get in trouble anymore before the season starts. And I'm not saying he's not guilty, but it seems like to me if he's not been charged with anything, he'd have a pretty solid argument about this suspension. No, well, the argument was that they didn't have enough K, uh, they didn't have enough evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt in court. So if they don't have that, they don't go to yeah, court. They don't go to it, court. Whether it's him or anybody else. Um, but the folks with the uh, with the NFL say, look, this is just, you know, it's person. It's a there's a there's something going on here. He keeps putting himself in a position yeah. to get in this kind of trouble. He's got to stop that, uh, or, and and we're just going to make uh, make him pay the penalty for not stopping it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I mean, you two two women in two different towns, yeah, uh, within eight months, months of each other, charging him with the same thing. Either, you know, they've decided he's a target. Or he's actually involved in some of this stuff. It seems like that uh, who he is, he could have his choice of women anyway. Why would he have to do something like this? Well, I mean, it may be a, it's a power situation. Mm -hmm. it, you know, they say most of these rapes or attempted rapes are power. It's not because I can, you know, to prove I can. Yeah. And it may be a deal where he's saying, look, I'm Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. You what do you mean, no? Me. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It could be that. I don't know. But anyway... He's out. And NASCAR has penalized four teams that fall under the Michael Walter bracing banner 
for violations at Texas Motor Speedway. NASCAR says the car is driven by David Reutemann, uh, Martin Truex Jr., Max Pappas, and uh, Marcos Ambrose. All were deemed illegal cars for the race. Well, that's not good. I don't know. I, good thing you weren't involved. They were driving 86 Ford Tauruses. Exactly. <laughs> Souped up. Four-barrel carb. <laughs> Hurry into Walmart and save on the sun.